Maybe You Should Talk to Someone, A Therapist, Her Therapist, and Our Lives Revealed by Lori Gottlieb is a candid and insightful exploration into the human condition through the lens of therapy, both as a practitioner and a patient. Lori, a psychotherapist, finds herself on the other side of the couch after a sudden breakup with her boyfriend, which sends her into an emotional tailspin. She seeks out a therapist to help navigate her personal issues. And through this process, readers are offered a unique dual perspective on the therapeutic experience. The narrative weaves together Lori's personal journey with the stories of her own patients, offering a tapestry of interconnected tales that highlight the universality of pain, growth, and self-discovery. Her writing is filled with empathy, humor, and the raw honesty of someone who is both an expert in her field and a vulnerable human seeking understanding and healing. Lori's experiences with her patients serve as poignant examples of the different challenges people face and the ways in which therapy can provide relief and clarity. She introduces us to a varied cast of characters, John, a high-powered Hollywood producer who seems to have it all but is crippled by emptiness and despair, Julie, a young woman facing a terminal illness with courage but struggling to come to terms with her fate. Rita, a senior citizen who feels her life has been a string of disappointments and regrets and contemplates suicide. And Charlotte, a 20-something with a pattern of alcohol-fueled unfulfilling relationships and a history of trauma. Each story delves into deep-seated issues such as grief, love, loss, family dynamics, past traumas, and existential dilemmas. Gottlieb deftly describes her patients' problems and their therapeutic processes, showing how she helps them understand their narratives, explore their emotions, and confront the truths they've been avoiding. In parallel, she reveals her own vulnerabilities and acknowledges the humbling experience of being in the patient's seat when she herself undergoes therapy. Throughout her sessions with her own therapist, Wendell, Lori learns to confront the blind spots in her self-perception and the defense mechanisms she's built up over the years. As a professional helper, Lori grapples with the challenge of needing help and the reality that therapists, like anyone else, have their own issues to work through. This humbling realization allows her to connect more deeply with her patients and recognize the shared humanity that underpins everyone's struggles. Wendell provides her with the insightful reflections and tough love she needs helping her understand the impact of her past relationships, including the dynamics with her ex-boyfriend and the unresolved grief over her father's death. He encourages her to examine the stories she tells herself and to rewrite the narrative of her life, offering a path to growth and transformation. The book also confronts the stigmas and misconceptions surrounding therapy, underscoring its value not just for people in crisis, but for anyone seeking greater self-awareness and personal development. It emphasizes the importance of emotional health and the courage it takes to face one's own truths. It demystifies the therapeutic process, depicting it as a collaborative journey rather than a symptom-focused treatment. Maybe You Should Talk to Someone illuminates the intimate bonds that form between therapists and their patients. Gottlieb's professional boundaries are tested as she cares deeply for the well-being of her patients, finding the right balance between professional detachment and personal investment. She discusses the ethical and emotional complexities inherent in the therapeutic relationship and the ways in which the therapist's influence extends beyond the confines of the therapy room. Gottlieb's portrayal of John, Julie, Rita, and Charlotte demonstrates how people from vastly different walks of life can experience remarkably similar feelings and challenges. She highlights the common thread of humanity that ties her patients' stories together, suggesting that the essence of therapy is the connection between individuals. John, with his brash exterior, eventually uncovers layers of hurt and a profound fear of insignificance, stemming from a difficult childhood. As he learns to let down his guard, he builds more authentic relationships, both in his personal life and at work. Julie faces mortality with remarkable strength, Yet her sessions with Gottlieb open up avenues for her to explore her relationships and the legacy she wants to leave. Her story is a testament to the human spirit's resilience and the search for meaning in the face of life's finality. Rita, who believes her life is beyond redemption, 
discovers through therapy that it is never too late to change. She begins to make amends with estranged family members and finds new purpose in volunteer work, transforming her outlook on life. Meanwhile, Charlotte's story of overcoming her pattern of destructive behavior and learning to truly value herself is a powerful narrative of recovery and redemption. As their stories unfold, readers are shown how each patient learns to face their inner demons, forgive themselves and others, and move towards a deeper acceptance of their stories. The process is neither linear nor easy, but it is depicted as incredibly worthwhile, with the possibility of profound change and insight. Gottlieb does not shy away from discussing the realities of being a therapist, including the challenges of burnout and the weight of carrying others' emotional burdens. Yet, she also celebrates the profound satisfaction that comes from helping patients find their way and the sense of purpose and fulfillment that her work provides. The book concludes with a message of hope and the acknowledgement that everyone's life narrative contains chapters of struggle and growth. Gottlieb stresses that while change is possible, it often requires hard work, self-reflection, and a willingness to seek help. She encourages readers to embrace their own stories and consider the transformative potential of looking inward with the support of a compassionate listener. Maybe You Should Talk to Someone is more than a memoir or a peek behind the therapist's curtain. It is an invitation to readers to reflect on their own lives, to recognize their shared humanity with others, and to consider the profound impact that talking to someone, whether a friend, family member, or professional, can have on their well-being and sense of self. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.